Uh, we vaccinate, sterilise, mend road carnage, maggot wounds, mange. I've mortgaged a house in London to pay for the trust. And I've reached almost the end of my, the money I can afford to put in it. So we're pretty desperate at the moment. The people here, they don't give money to orphans. So dogs, as you can imagine, are way down the, what's it? They are killing here. There are so many uh, dogs they killed already. They have this thing like uh, if there is a dog, they have to throw the stone. If there is a snake, they have to use the stick. So it's in the mind. So it's mind setup is like that. Around 70, 80 dogs are missing in the Ford Kochi, which are sterilized because we are putting the tags on, collars with Mad Dog Trust sign, and uh, we are uh, cutting the air as a mark that this dog is vaccinated and uh, sterilized. We educate through the schools, we vaccinate against pyrovac distemper. The poor people, we do theirs for free. We vaccinate with, from rabies all the dogs, that makes the dogs safe. If someone phones us up and says there's a dog here with, which is sick, we go and pick it up. We have a clinic and a surgery here, uh, which by Indian standards are hygienic and good. We have virtually no money, so we have no x-ray, no microscope, nothing, nothing. So we have to transport a dog to the a pet hospital quite away from here. It's just light sedated, there's nothing. It's just so he doesn't, he doesn't start struggling. He had maggot wounds all over the body. Two toes were destroyed and the other two, and there was a, a big mess with loads of maggots going in. What we did, we basically put him on fluids, we gave him antibiotic, we cleaned that wound, we got some drugs that will kill the maggots in 24 hours. Then he started eating and he has been playful and uh, we're just going to see how is the wound because it needs to be operated definitely. I must warn you that it's not a, a pretty wound, so it's, it's quite horrible. These two are missing. Try to get rid of this area, close it and see if we can save this one and this one. It's a very rewarding experience in a way that if vets do have the time and if they can give a bit of themselves to this sort of, of, of charities, this sort of projects, I think they, they will end up saying, oh, it was very rewarding, it was very nice, it was very positive. You know different people, you know different cultures. We have a shop here, charity shop, and uh, we are trying to get some money from people, but uh, this is not enough for the trust because uh, the sterilization of dogs, vaccination, is too much money. We already sterilized uh, more than 700 dogs here and uh, in Ford Cochin. We stopped it right now because we don't have enough funds don't have support from government and we don't have support from people so this is little bit but this is not enough we can feed the dogs but we cannot sterilize the dogs in th from this money you could also help by adopting a dog it's not that expensive to get a dog flown from here particularly now they've changed the law we have two dogs going to germany next week and there's three taking their injections which means in three months time they'll be able to go to Europe. And that is a real help to us because we know then that they're going to a genuinely good home.